Hey, I'm Nick Barton, I'm 26 years old. I free ride jet skis and live on the Mornington Peninsula. Free riding is something that I've only really just taken to, you know, I, I wanted to get a jet ski again because the motocross I was finding, you know, I was injuring myself a lot and I was starting not to enjoy it anymore. So I got a jet ski purely just because I thought it looked cool, looked great. And then I started watching on YouTube, you know, guys riding them in the surf, riding them like surfboards, doing big aerial tricks. So probably for the last three years I've been, been free riding jet skis and haven't really looked back. A standard jet ski consists of your pole, which moves up and down when you're standing in the tray, handlebars, you've then got a pump at the back with an impeller, and then a motor, a two-stroke motor varying from say 700 cc all the way up to 1200. Unlike surfing where you need perfect offshore conditions with nice clean faces, I actually quite enjoy sometimes going out in really messy onshore type days because it, it can be like riding a motocross track where you have those really short, sharp, choppy days. You can be doubling through sort of sections and then hit the next wave and bust out a flip or you can be jumping from one wave to another wave. And, and sometimes it feels like a motocross track, like big whoops everywhere. So there's really no ideal conditions, you know. I just think you'd, sometimes you're just better to go out any day of the week and just see if you enjoy it or not, whether you like an offshore day or a really messy onshore day. Like a dirt bike gearing on jet skis, we have different props. For instance, I like a really responsive ski that has a lot of bottom end response, whereas a racer would like something with more top ends. For say, freestyle on the surf, you want a mid-range prop, so you've still got a bit of top end for surf riding, but then you want more response, you know, so you can do the aerial tricks, and then you go all the way down to your flat water, where you have a huge pitch prop, all for bottom end, so you can be doing backflips, say, off a boat wake or something along those lines. Yeah, look, I was, I was talking to Bilko over summer and you know, he's like one of the top guys and we look to those guys as well for you know, new tricks and trying to work out different manoeuvres. Look, there are a lot of similarities between freestyle motocross and jet skiing. You know, it's, it's got an engine, it's got a set of handlebars and you've got ramps to hit. But there's also a lot of variables too. You know, unlike freestyle motocross, we have set ramps, set distance. We're always having to read the surf at the last minute, reading the ramp how the wave's pitching to determine what sort of trick you're gonna do. So it's, it's quite sporadic. You can be as creative as you want in the surf because there's so many different ramps everywhere. And one minute you can be surf riding the wave and, and hitting a lip and doing a re-entry. And the next minute you can just be lining up a big wave for your, for your bigger aerial tricks. You know, a jet ski weighs 130 kilos and when it's choppy, it's like riding a really rough motocross track. You're always standing up, you're maneuvering your body. It, you build up a lot of leg strength, a lot of core strength. You know, I have a lot of guys that come out riding with me, like Boydie for instance, and first thing he says is how sore his back was the next day. And you know, that guy is just super fit and he has a super strong core. And he even commented to say how hard it was on his lower body and core. sit down in here and then drive to the back beach while he rides around and then we'll just push my stand up down the hill. At all times I've always got either someone in the water with me or, or a pickup ski, a safety ski which you know my dad's been a massive part of my life and he loves coming down to the beach, he rides to sit down all day and you know when I need him to sort of drag around my ski or I've sunk my ski which happens on a regular basis he's always there with the pickup mat to do that for me. And in a sport like this, you need someone because it has the potential to knock yourself out or, you know, still injure yourself. And without anyone out there, you know, you're sort of stranded. So I've always got someone on the sit down just in case. Yeah.